something. Uh-oh. <laughs> Get the fire extinguisher. All right guys, today is a day, it is happening. If you tuned into our last episode, you saw that we finally got the power to be able to float this thing with two big boys in it. Yeah, and I've also made a couple of modifications since then. We kind of divided the bag up into sections to, you know, so we can adjust stuff easier. Yeah. And um, adding more batteries so we have a longer life. <laughs> That's really important. <laughs> now, if you guys remember in the last video, we talked about the control link being really important. That was one thing we didn't have answered. We have a really cool answer for this that's gonna give us the ability to both control this while we're in this, but also at any time we want, make it radio controlled. I'm gonna be programming this little tiny board called the FT Aura 5 with my good friend Joe from Flex Innovations. We're gonna write a custom code that's gonna give us the ability to have gyro stabilization for the differential thrust, but also be able to fire up all three motors independently. We got a lot of work to do. This is the day where hopefully we're gonna be driving this thing out the store. If you guys are new to this project, here's your Diamondback recap. We started off early on in the year with wanting to make a really cool hovercraft. That hovercraft quickly adapted from a prototype to a small version of a Star Wars land speeder. There was no way at that point that we were going to stop. We had to make a one-to-one -one replica, so that's when we started cutting some really big foam, making some really big pieces to make a two-passenger land speeder that actually was a hovercraft. As the hovercraft started taking shape, we started adding electronics in it, seats in it, and Dave even built a huge custom battery. Along the journey, we found it very quickly that although the hovercraft could hover, it could not carry much weight, and our good friends at Zor stepped up and made us some really cool custom props. And we're gonna see if it can lift two big boys up in the air. All right, so as I mentioned in the opening here, huge shout out to my good friend Joe at Flex Innovations here. This is the FT Aura 5. This little board here, this is what goes in all of our different airplanes. So if you wanna learn how to fly, you wanna have a stabilized experience, or you wanna be able to fly in windy weather without having any issues, this board drops in it. You can make a, something like one of our FT Corsairs fly like a trainer, which is incredible. So what we did is I went ahead and talked with Joe here. He wrote up a specific code that will enable us to basically operate these motors the way that we need. And Dave, you did an incredible thing with this little guy. You yeah. scavenged our simulator <laughs> transmitter. Yeah, yeah, so I basically just took a spectrum transmitter, took it all apart, put it down into its basic you know, components and um, hooked up potentiometers that hook up to our steering and our throttle. And we we're able to do all of our mixes and monitor everything right off the screen that I built into the little dash piece. And he gave one of the final notes that's really, really important. For right, us. yeah. So we gotta hook this up. We're gonna test this out to see how it works. And if everything works good, I'll be able to steer this, make the motors work, we'll be able to give throttle. And at that point, it's time to button this thing up, get in it, and take it for a spin. All right, all right so ready? we're ready to turn it on. We'll turn on the master switch. I tried to make everything as safe as possible. If we get in any trouble, just flip that off. It'll kill power to everything. Okay. And we'll turn it on to that position. Turn this guy on. Maybe I should have a light here. It'll bump. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're hearing right now is a little scary. When I move this, it's already working. Yeah. Holy that's cow! Awesome. So this is the how we're gonna stabilize this. When this yaws to the right, this motor should go up. And when it goes to the left. <laughs> See how it works. Yeah, it definitely works. All right, you ready to try the throttle? Yeah, just gotta I'll give try the throttle speed. a shot. All right. Oh, you have the grid on that thing. Yeah, yeah, I decided to add a little bit of safety so go. it doesn't eat our heads. <laughs> All right, one little last test here is I went ahead and I did a mix that ties our aileron to our rudder. And the reason is, is because this is actually differential off the rudder. I didn't want to go through all the time of kind of reprogramming and reassigning, although we could do that. You want to do the honors? Uh, yeah, sure. Here he goes. And you'll notice that the back throttle, you'll notice that the back prop only spins with throttle. It's not tied to any gyros, which is what we want. Okay. That is well, awesome. We'll get that glued in place, mm -hmm. and uh, I think we'll put the interior together and we'll give it a shot. This is going to be cool. All right, so the guys are literally uh, about to get this giant hovercraft moving. Before we do that, I gotta grab some things. I gotta grab my trusty Insta360 X3. We can put it anywhere on the thing and we're gonna have all the footage that he needs to capture in one camera, both from a 360 perspective, but also you can keyframe the shots that you want so you can get the exact shot you were looking for, which is really cool. So I'm gonna take that out. 
And again, we're also gonna be taking out the Insta360 GO 3 because this thing literally you can put it anywhere, no matter what you're doing, how you're doing it. I think we're gonna get some establishing shots with the hovercraft actually running over this thing because it's so small. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. And I think we're gonna try to get a cockpit view as well. So light, doesn't affect CG. In this case, it doesn't matter, but with any airplane that we're doing, at the end of the day, take this out, put it anywhere. Uh, which is super nice and they've just upgraded a lot of different things which is great so literally these two cameras uh literally get us everything that we need once we have a dslr and these two cameras capture everything which is really cool and so now i got to take these up there to help noah put these things where he wants them so he's not running like a little chicken with his head cut off so again check that link in the description below grab yourself an awesome insta360 go 3 or x3 you're not going to be disappointed so let's go put these on all right stefan a lot of stuff going on right now. A lot of stuff going on. We got our friends here. We got the, the, the peanut gallery, the hecklers yeah. uh, for manufacturing. Yeah. Um, we, are, we are trying to get the hovercraft ready to test this first ever yeah. real life hovercraft. Yeah, we brought everyone out of the woodworks here because this project started back at the beginning of the year. It's insane how much of a journey it's been. It's been our longest project to date. And there's no way we are not gonna take this opportunity to bring everyone down to be able to see it either be successful or to laugh at us. <laughs> so, yeah. What do you think? Where do you think we're just gonna go? Dude, I'm 50-50 because Dave did this baffle in the back yes. that basically helps it lift even better now. Yes. And it was doing good before. Like, it picked us up and, and had like... Yeah, I pushed you and you, it, it, it was moved. fine. But how will it do on grass? How will it do going uphill? We don't know that yet. But one cool thing is, is I'm a big boy, Dave's a big boy. We have a lot of skittier people <laughs> on our team. So if we can't make it go, it just means one of them may get to <laughs> make a kill. Just keep going we'll just, down the line. Why do you need to lose a little weight? That's my wife. I told her she's keeping me humble. Shots fired! Yeah. That's all. That's all. You can't even let that out. That's how we're going Something's gonna happen. Oh, we don't man. know what, but yeah. hopefully, come along right. the ride. We gotta get this thing ready to go. We'll get to it. Let's do it. All right, no, what are you doing, buddy? This so, this is funny. I'm on the wrong end of the camera. Yeah, now. you're. I'm usually where you are, yeah. so. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make sure I have all the angles, so, you know. Yeah, I saw you have inches on the front, inches on the back. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, you know, if we only have one shot at this, we'll have enough angles. <laughs> He's basically saying if it catches on fire, he wants to capture it. I angles. didn't say that, though. But he, you didn't, did. he did not say that. All right. What's your thoughts, Dave? I, I honestly don't know what to think at this point. Excited. I'm nervous, excited and thrilled but yet worried <laughs> like, my uh, I'm, my emotions are everywhere right now well you put a lot of heart in this so I, I don't think nobody has touched us on the team more than me yeah that's for sure uh, definitely so, and look at this i mean this this whole process it's been well what can we make work for not not what should we use so so yeah a lot hopefully of people, it all works a lot of people in the comments are like hey build a skirt do this do that absolutely you're 100 percent right that's what we should be doing our whole goal is to take common everyday materials affordable materials materials that you come in contact with. yeah things things that are readily available and we also didn't want to spend you know two months sewing up a bag and everything else so it'll work it's gonna work and if not we'll make it work <laughs> all right that's good yep So as we mentioned before, guys, uh, Dave and I are probably the biggest of the group. For sure. Yeah, so if this doesn't work with us, we have a whole bunch of team members that are way smaller. <laughs> we can just keep on stepping down. Yeah. <laughs> but at the end of the day, we want to be, I mean, we're the ones talking about taking this out for a cheeseburger. Right, yeah, for sure. Maybe, maybe even a drive-in movie. Maybe a drive-in movie, yeah. <laughs> so I think we're ready. Yeah, let's do this. All right, we've been stalling long enough. <laughs> Typically at this point, guys, we are, okay, we've been stalling enough time to take off. We've been saw enough time to climb in. Yeah, <laughs> which isn't the most glorious thing anyways. All right, get on All right. in there. All right, All right. here we go. Race you. Race you. You know what you guys look like right now? You guys look like, uh, look like when they're getting into the bob sled. <laughs> we look like super best friends. Or do you want to just hold it? Oh, sorry. That's okay. I almost missed the fist bump. <laughs> yeah. All right. I don't have a body, so I probably look. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was. All right, so we have a startup sequence here. <laughs> yes, it's, it's, it's very in detail. Yeah. So uh, you got to flip this button, flip that button, twist this one, Bop push it. that one forward, flip that up, switch that on, yeah. and then we're ready to turn it on. <laughs> That's right. So I think we're ready to go. 
If anyone doesn't have a sequence, this thing's never getting jacked. <laughs> you ready, Noah? Yeah. All right, let's do this. All right. Oh, one more thing that's really important here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's do this. All right, we're good. Ooh, that is terrifying. All right, I'm, the, I'm the passenger. I'm just going to sit here. Okay, so I need to turn on these guys first. Signature. Let me try it one more time. Now again. That's a negative. So there was something that was a little alarming as we were spooling it up. And by the way, we were able to spool it up in there and had luck with it. But now we're on grass. I think it's a little bit of a different yeah, it's, story. Yeah, it's definitely changing it. Plus, we went to Walker's Cafe and ate a ton of food. <laughs> so I think what we need to do now is let's let's throw some lighter to humans in here. Yeah, yeah, let's give it a shot. we can always up it up later. Let's just make sure this thing works. You know, it's kind of convicting when they get in and it doesn't even wiggle. Yeah. <laughs> We just shaved Solid. off about 200 pounds. Okay, so <laughs> if you do get in absolute trouble, flip that down, it'll turn everything off. This? Okay. Yeah. Okay. You guys ready? We're ready. Let's do it. Hi, guys! See you later. <laughs> yes, please. I definitely feel lower than I did when, when all the things are on. I, it was definitely like this. Yeah. Right? Now, here's a question, Dave. Do you think it's possible, because there's a lot of bleeder holes in the bottom of here, do you think it's possible there's too many bleeder holes so it's not getting the bag quite as heavy or as taut? Maybe, but it's pretty stiff. It looks I like mean, we can put packing tape on them. Mm -hmm. All right, we gotta test out these gyros here. So what we're doing is we're getting out. As I said earlier, we can go right over to a link here uh, to the controller, which means we can drive this radio controlled. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. And we'll test out the gyros. We are not gonna stop until our butts are driving in this thing across the fairway. But for today, this is what we're gonna have to deal with. Does it have good steering? Yeah, it's great steering. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, even, even though we're not in it, that's still pretty cool. No, watch out, here I come. Ooh, man, it picks up some speed. You shouldn't be letting me drive, by the way. Wow. That is scary. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a longer run this way. It's stable, though. I mean, it is locked in. Donut! 
All right, even even if it's totally just that, that's worth it. <laughs> that is awesome. All right, so the power is good. One thing I can definitely see with us out of it, it does not have the uh, it does not have the lift on the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe I do maybe. need to put less holes in it. Here, I'll bring this back for you. All right, so friends, we are not done here. I think we see where we went wrong. We're gonna make some adjustments. We're gonna make some uh, more power, and then we're gonna revisit this. Thanks for being part of the Fletcher's family. We'll see you next time. All right, guys, so hopefully you enjoyed it as much as we did messing around with that hovercraft. Can't believe it was messing around RC, which was absolutely hilarious, um, but really hopeful for the next stage. And also, as you saw in the video, these cameras captured some pretty insane angles. Um, we ran over the hovercraft with this uh, Insta360 Go 3. Uh, we had some, a bunch of really good establishing shots uh, inside the hovercraft with the X3. Um, so make sure you check out the link in the description below. Um, this Insta360 Go 3 camera is one of the probably last action cameras you'll probably ever need. So make sure you check out the link in the description below. That helps us out a ton. Go check out these awesome cameras. You're not gonna be disappointed. Go show Insta360 some love because they really believe in what Flight Test is doing and they've been partnering with us for a really long time. Um, and I also just believe in creators. And so make sure you check out the link in the description below. Grab yourself one of these awesome cameras. You're not gonna be disappointed. Um, and thanks for watching guys, appreciate it. And we'll see you guys next time.